simply just select the foot and put an position constraint to this last bone here so go to animation constraint position constraint and select this last bone now when we uh, move around with this IK goal this works fine so let's just put that in your fairly original position here yeah that's fine okay so just fast set this up on the other leg too so just select foot go to animation constraints position constraint and select this last bone and then when we move around this it should work and stop when the the leg cannot reach the foot we'll just set this up here like that. okay so now we actually have a nice setup <laughs> well except for that um, of course we want the these bones to be linked to this bone uh, not this bone this uh, geometry here so select the select link tool and select this bone and um, link it to that geometry and that bone to that uh, geometry here so now when we rotate this for an example or move it yeah that works now we will be ready to uh, just fast do something with this so let's just hide these bones so go into this panel and hide the bone objects now we want to animate just a little jump so it, it won't be in that much detail so um, it will just be an introduction to what you can actually do with this kind of rig so turn auto key on and then just move to frame uh, 5 maybe and select this body move it down like that go to frame 10 move it up like this and then move it to frame maybe 15 I'll just see how much we actually move it frame 15 we maybe want it over here and frame 20 down here frame 25 there so now we have that movement going there now we just want the IK goals to follow so select the IK goals both of them and go to frame we still want them to be uh, planned on the ground on frame tw 10 so we'll just set a key here uh, pressing the key and then at frame 20 we probably want to move them over here let's see what that does for us yeah in that spot we wanted to maybe go up here yeah that's maybe a little quick yeah you get the idea and then maybe after here you want it to go up here so this looks okay maybe we'll just add some rotation on these IG solvers here the feet so go frame the frame 10 it's actually also to there is set a key for rotation there so we don't need that but 
properly here. We would like to rotate it. So it looks like it's falling on the ground here. And over here. Like that. And then of course here we want it back. So now we actually have an OK jump. Oops, then this is maybe set a little too high. Like that. OK, that's that jump. Um, Sometimes when you um, animate, let's say for example that uh, here we actually want we wanted uh, to have these legs, uh, these feet, these IK goals uh, a little longer up here. Um, it would be harder to do this then maybe go to the local and then you can see oops local then you can see that we can actually move them in the in their local um, in their local world so for them x is that y uh, that uh, way and y is that way and c is that way so for them up is actually not really up in uh, the real world or what we'd call it here. Well, that was it. You were watching a tutorial on 3dparadise.com.